Hi guys, I'm Ben, I'm a third year historian and I am a member of Trevelyan College. I love colleges so much that I'm moving to South in September to set up the new community there, acting as the first JCR chair. Now a college is so much more than just a place to live, eat and sleep. It's a thriving community of students, each with its own identity. So here are 10 reasons why I love the colleges at Durham. Number one, societies. So every college has a number of societies, from film to art to music to theatre, there is something for everyone. What I love about these societies so much is the fact that, that anybody can go to them, there is absolutely no commitment, and you're always bound to know somebody there. Because colleges are so small and tight-knit, you can go to these societies on your own and feel comfortable and make new friends. So I have been part of Trevelyan College Debating Society and I'm also a member of JAMSOC. And JAMSOC is the first, actually the first time that I played guitar in front of a group of people. And now I wouldn't have done this if it wasn't for the fact that it was a collegiate society and not a university society. Of course, it really helped me too to come out of my shell and join in with more university-wide societies. Number two, sports. Now, I'm not one to play sports, but I absolutely love watching my college team play. So we all have pride in our collegiate teams, from football to rugby to college pool. Every sport has a league and we play against other colleges and it really promotes a friendly rivalry. We love going out and turning up for our teams and supporting them and you can really see the college spirit come alive. I also like the fact that the college teams are mostly for fun. You don't need any skill to take part in it, so it's much less intimidating, especially because you know all of the people that you're playing with. Number three is welfare. Now, this is possibly the biggest benefit of a collegiate university. The welfare provisions are great. Because the colleges are so small, it's so easy to get the advice and the help that you need. There are two ways in college that you can get welfare help. Firstly, there is the JCR welfare officer, which is backed by a welfare committee. They hold several drop-ins a week in which you can go to them and chat, a chat and get some advice and also have tea and biscuits. Now, I think the best thing about this is that sometimes it is easier to talk to your peers rather than members of staff. The welfare committee also puts on awareness campaigns such as mental health and sexual health, as well as stress less events during exam seasons to help us manage our stress. So last year during exam season, we made stress balls, we made pancakes, and we even invited in therapy animals, such as therapy dogs, which were so cute and cuddly and highly recommended. They also organize Freshers Week. Now what I think is so great about Freshers Week is that the welfare team plays such a huge role in organizing the, the week. And so if you feel uncomfortable away from home or you feel like you're not enjoying it so much and getting involved, there is always a welfare freshers rep on hand to be able to talk to. And there's also a welfare room in which you can go for a little bit of a breather. The welfare team also runs an academic parent system in which you can go along each week and talk to your academic parent. These are usually people, students in the year above and they do your subject and they can really help you with advice. I was an academic parent this year and I, it really benefited uh, my students and it also really benefited me in my first year as I got the lowdown on the different modules and insider tips on exams and essays. Now, the other way in which you can get welfare is through the college officers. The college officers include the principal, the vice principal and the senior tutor. And the best thing about this is that because the colleges are so small, they know you on a personal level. They know your name. And this is great because it is so good to have a support network away from home. Number four is the friendly staff. So I've already talked about the college officers, but there are also porters who help you with your room and they collect your parcels for you. There is the receptionist and the catering staff and the catering staff are lovely. They make the best delicious meals and they're just always there for a lovely chat and I think this is what makes a college feel so much different to a hall of residence because the, a college is so tight-knit everyone is like family. 
Number five is the social aspect of college. I absolutely love the fact that there are several different social spaces and when your friends are out at lectures, you can easily go down to these spaces and find somebody that you know. So there are there is the college bar, which turns into a cafe during the day and does the best iced coffee. There is the buttery or college shop and they do a range of snacks and sweets and toasties. There is also a TV room, a common room, which has a pool table. And most colleges have music facilities and sometimes a piano room. And now these are really good because you can go down, make friends or bring your friends with you and play Mario Kart. Honestly, some of my best memories are in the TV room playing Mario Kart with my friends. The form was possibly my favourite part of the college experience. It's a great opportunity to go with friends and have a great evening. At Formals, you get a three course meal, which is great value for money. At Trev's, it's six pound, and some previous menus include steak, salmon, and jackfruit fajitas. They also do gorgeous desserts, my favorite being the salted caramel cheesecake. Most colleges wear gowns for their formals, so it's brilliant because you feel like you're, going, you're in a Harry Potter film. Once you're a member of college, you're a member of college for life. And many of our alumni want to give back to the community. Some of them give donations, which go on personal development and building projects and sometimes library books. An example of the personal development is the cash prizes for the best exam grades in each year and each subject. Now, these are a great motivation to study hard. There are, there are also substantial travel scholarships donated by the alumni. Now, I was lucky enough last summer to be awarded a large scholarship to go to China and teach English in a school and learn about the culture. I would not have been able to do this without the generosity of the alumni, which I'm extremely grateful for. The alumni also come back for careers and networking events. The best thing about these events is that the alumni often want to go a step further and really help you get into the career that you want to, whether that is giving you work experience or in insider tips on how to land your dream job. It makes it so much easier with networking too, as you already have something in, co in common, the college that you love. Most colleges have music facilities and practice spaces for drama performances. Most colleges have an annual musical performance. The recent one at Trevs was the Adams Family. Now the best thing about this is that it's completely amateur and you do not need any past experience to get involved. These performances are extremely well polished and get really good reviews in the, the uni u newspaper. The music facilities are one of my favourite things. I myself am in a band and I often go along to, to rehearse with my friends for college performances. As each college has a number of events, the colleges love to push their own talent. And so we always have a platform in which we can showcase our latest songs. Playing at college events also helped us to come out of our shell and gain more confidence. We also gathered a little bit of a following and started to play more university events. Number nine is belonging to a community, the community spirit and the individual identities of the colleges. It's so brilliant to be part of a small tight knit group that's really unique and has its own college traditions and a college history. We're all so proud of our colleges, especially when we win sports trophies. Another way in which we show our pride for our college is by wearing college stash. For example, I'm wearing a Trev's t-shirt. I also have a Trev's keep cup and a Trev's fret jumper. And finally, number 10 is the JCR. The JCR is the junior common room. It is run by the students for the students and it organises everything from formals to balls to the welfare provisions in college. The best thing about the JCR is that it provides leadership opportunities and your own say to get involved and shape your college experience. You can sit on ball committee and help to plan and organise the ball, deciding its theme, its venue and the activities that you would like to see. There's also a finance committee in which you can help to decide how the JCR funds are spent. Another good thing about the JCR is that it's really easy to be represented to the uni. As colleges are such small groups, it's really easy to get your voices heard and represented on a university level. It's also great because your needs can be met 
as opposed to a university trying to cater for thousands and thousands of students. Thanks so much for listening. I really hope that this helps you make a decision in the future. Regardless of which college you go to, you will definitely have the best time. Thanks so much for listening. Goodbye.